Through times of challenge, we often learn life's most valuable lessons. When my wife was diagnosed with cancer, she displayed a courage and a strength that I'd never seen before. And I remember I asked her, where does it come from? And she said, I just see the bigger picture. A moment when I will finally become a mother. Tessa's words inspired me to change the way that I was living my life, which would ultimately lead to me being here with you in this moment. I've always used magic and art as an escape from reality. I created this piece over two and a half years ago. The question is, what is it? Simon, I have a gift for you, sir. These are quote cards. Basically, they contain lots of inspirational quotes written by some truly amazing people. Now, I say they're a gift because you will keep these. But Simon, for now, please choose one at random. Say stop as I do that. Stop. I'll give them a card exactly where you say. Can you hold out your hand for me, palm up? I'm going to place that card on your hand. Can you have a look at that quote for me, but don't let me see what it says? Oh, wow. Don't give me any clues. <laughs> Alicia and Amanda, these books feature over a thousand incredible human beings who have either changed the world that we live in or how we think about the lives that we lead. Alicia, have a look at this book for me. Amanda, please have a look at this book for me as well. David, probably recognize this book. Never because... seen it before. <laughs> it's very good. It's very good. I must read it. There are just under 300 pages in your book, David. Um, and it's those 300 pages that will create some truly random decisions using this bookmark. So what I'm going to ask you to do, David, is just to insert it somewhere inside the middle of your book for me. Can I? Of course you can. Wonderful. It's very important that you see that I don't change the position of the bookmark, but equally, uh, I don't know what page it's on. This is a random choice generated by David. Amanda, can you look at that page for me in your book? But it's really important, Amanda, that you keep the book upright. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, yes. no, I'm sorry. Yes. Hold the book upright so I don't see the page that you're on. OK? You have yeah. the page. David, I'm going to ask you to do the same thing again. Another random position somewhere inside the middle of the book. If you could insert it inside again, that'd be wonderful. Thank you. Again, same rules apply, Alicia. Um, it's important that at no point do I see the page okay. that you're ultimately looking in. Can you turn to this page in your book? Okay. Keeping the book upright so I can't see. Thank you. Yep. <clears throat> Simon, you've read that quote, yes? I'm going to read it again. No problem. Yeah. Wonderful. Can I just ask you, Amanda and Alicia, can you confirm that there's someone that you're familiar with on your page. Alicia, yours are written by different authors. Is there an author there that you're familiar with? Someone that you would recognise? Yep. Wonderful. Same with you, Amanda. Yes. Brilliant. Simon, it doesn't matter who wrote your quote, but what is important is the very last word of that quote. What is it, Simon? Heart. Heart. Is it heart. A heart. Yeah. I have to finish this piece of art, Simon, but Isabella drew a picture for you. It's in front of you in that envelope. Can you open it up for me and show everyone what it says? Alicia, for the very first time, can you tell us who are you thinking of? Gandhi. Gandhi. Isabella, who has Daddy been painting over the last two and a half years? Gandhi. Can I ask you to visualise your person for me? I'm going to mix this up a little bit.
Amanda, for the first time, who are you thinking of? John Lennon. John Lennon. What Isabella didn't realize is that Daddy hid a second picture in person inside this picture. I don't know how you do it, and for me, even though the, um, the magic, I will say that, is extraordinary, for me it's the kind of emotional pull of what's going on, and I do find myself watching the videos of your gorgeous girls more than I am paying attention to your actual trick, which I apologise for. Same here. So for me, I thought it was very good. It didn't have the same emotional pull as your first audition, if I'm going to be really honest. Sure but it was still extraordinary and very well put together. Thank you. So well done. Yeah, but you know what, Amanda? I, I, I think that, uh, and I'm speaking for you, I think that if that had happened again, yeah. I would say that, uh, you know, then you're repeating yourself. Uh, I think this, uh, I have to find a different word for this other than magic, because magic feels too small for this. It, I really do. Um, you know, I think imagine with like rabbits out of whatever and card tricks. Whatever you do, how you do it, and how you express yourself is genuinely unbelievable. I, I don't want to know. Uh, I think it's a gift. Uh, everything you do, the way you do it. Uh, let me tell you something, Mark. Everywhere I've gone, I've been all over the world, and the one thing that keeps happening, people come up to me and they keep talking. You know, people from different countries, they've seen your clip, and they all keep talking about it, uh, how it touched them, uh, and that's a sign of, of how popular you are. I, I think in a, I really do. I think this was extraordinary. I mean, really, really extraordinary. Yeah, Mark. You make magic, or whatever it is you do, beautiful. I mean, it really was such a beautiful performance, really heartfelt, and you created such a buzz on this show, and I'm sure you're going to tonight, so well done. Yeah, I agree. I was almost in a trance watching you, and I just kept thinking how profound it is, and thought-provoking, and like David said, very heartfelt. And that's the most important thing, making that connection with people. Did a brilliant job. Well done, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. You know, like with anything, with show business and everything else, you know, sometimes you don't want to know. And that is the magic, literally, of show business. You know, it's the ability to make people go into a world and it's fantastic and it's just... Wonderful, and that's why I really enjoyed what you did so much. It's brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. To see more back on this stage on Sunday, all the details you need are on the screen now. But remember, voting doesn't open until the end of the show, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it one more time for the fabulous Mark Spellman.